Spring Summoners, Invader Sive here. Welcome to another episode of League of Legends Point of View. Today, I will be playing a very special video for you guys in which I will be playing Trash, the newest champion on League of Legends. So, I've actually played a couple of games with him and he seems to be a, a very powerful support. He does bring a lot to the table and a lot of unique abilities as well. Or the combination of them, actually. So quickly here, let me tell you our team comp. We got Draven and myself, Trash Bot. We got Scar in the Jungle, Syndra Mid, and Lee Sin Top. Now our enemies are Graves and Trash Bot. We got Katarina in the Mid, Kha'Zix and Fiddlesticks maybe Top. Who knows what they're doing? Maybe Fiddlesticks will jungle anyways. We are on the PVE, so remember, remember that. And we will most likely be plagued with baddies, AFKs, AFKers, and all that bad stuff. That we hate about League of Legends, but hopefully I can give you guys a good game here. Now let's talk about Trash's passive. Now this is a quite unique passive in the game. Basically, what it does is minions have a chance of dropping souls, and you pick the souls up, and each one of those gives you additional armor and ability power. Now in a previous build, it used to give magic resist, but they actually removed this yesterday or today, I don't remember. But they removed this, so now it's only armor and uh, magic resist. Okay, so the champions and small minions always drop always drop the, uh, the soul. So uh, you can always expect that from those champion uh, from those um, enemies. However, the small minions do do drop it at, at random. Oop, fat pathing fail. Let's go back here. Now, like I said, you gain one point of armor and one point of ability uh, power for each. Oh, here we go. Let's see if we can make something happen here. You get one point of armor, one point of magic resist. And I mean, ability power, I mean. Per each. Here we go. Go in there. Exhausted. We got him, we got him. Great job. Oh. One point of armor, one point of ability power and for, per soul. And this this value, actually, you can see me there picking, picking them up. This value actually drops per each soul you get. So in the end, it's not like a, an infinite amount that you can gain. And it's not infinitely powerful or scales forever because it does give you less uh, less uh, bonus armor and ability power per soul. And I believe the cap is 255 souls. That's the cap have added to this and it seems pretty pretty good it's around 140 or something uh, additional armor and ability power so overall it's a decent passive uh, it does give you a different type of play style there you go I'm picking picking them up this is not mine this is the enemy's soul so it will remain there for a little bit I think it doesn't despawn or maybe it does oh it does despawn so you need to pick them up as soon as you can Okay, so your 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 the souls you collect also have an, an another additional um, function here, and it's with your Q. Now your Q does three things. The first thing it does is gives you a passive. Oh, the first thing it gives you a passive, which allows you to do additional magic damage on your auto attacks, but you require to be static for for uh, a good amount of time. You shouldn't be attacking, and eventually you'll get the max amount of additional damage. And you can go in there and destroy people. Now th your auto attack range is actually not that good. It's it's pretty pretty small. Oh, it's actually a pretty small uh, auto attack range. It's four four seventy five. So you need to be in the middle of the f of of the fray so you can actually do damage with your with this passive. Although it's actually quite powerful. One more. Oh, you should, I would have made it cool. Okay, I'm gonna camp right here. Okay, so see, so uh, additional to the flat magic damage, you also gain uh, equal uh, additional damage equal to the total a number of souls you have collected and part of your your damage as well. Oh, here we go. Oh, nice shield there, just in time. Uh, the percentage of your total attack damage. Now this uh, scales with each rank of the ability. So at the end, it's like 200 additional bonus. Um, 200% additional attack damage on this attack. So overall, it's quite powerful. Uh, so far, I, I've noticed that this is just for utility. You could max this first, but I actually like to max your W first, which is a shield. I'll talk about it in a little bit. 
um, get this a level one for utility mostly. Now the active part of this is you throw a hook. You've seen me throwing it a couple of times, and I've missed all of those. And the hook is basically a stun for 1.5 seconds. Um, it drags the enemy towards you, and you cannot attack yourself while you do this. And the drag is not all the way to you like a blitzcrank hook or anything like that. It's more like a nautilus hook in which it gives you like halfway, but you don't travel to them. They they travel just to yourself. And it's actually quite slow as well. The, the travel speed is not that fast, so you need to keep that in mind. Now it is powerful because it is a displacement type skill and it is a stun, so all of those abilities are great on a support or any champion really. And the second part of this, if you manage to hook someone and then you quickly uh, click on it once again, you will trade positions with that with that enemy or that unit. Now that's extremely important because... Oh no, I missed that. It's all good. So it's, it's important because it does allow you to, to get into perfect positioning for... Uh, good job, let's go back then. It, it allows you to get into positioning for your art abilities, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Oh, nice job! Let's see if I can go help out there. You're dead. It allows you to get into positioning for your art abilities, especially your ultimate, which I'll talk about in a little bit. So that's pretty much it. So it's additional damage. Uh, when you're passive, when you passively just stand there in the lane, you also gain uh, a hook type of ability, which is quite powerful. Let's go back to the lane. Uh, uh, similar to Blitz Trunks grab, and then you can trade position with the target that you have at, and you have grabbed. So overall, quite powerful ability. Does a lot of utility, a lot of things. So, and so far, I maxed this second. Uh, I haven't decided what's my best. Uh, ability to max second just yet. I haven't played him that much, but uh, it seems to be quite good. It does lower the, the cooldown quite a bit. It doesn't do that much damage uh, from from the ability itself, but the passive does scale pretty well. So that's actually, uh, in my opinion, a, a great a great ability to max second. Now you got your shield. Your shield is actually an, a shield that you can place on your whole team. So. The, the basically is you, you put down a lantern which not only it also gives you vision help me out ooh, 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 ooh. get him get him get him get him he's dead he's dead he's dead you got him oh 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 really going in there die die no come on Ah, that heal. That sucks. They are level 6. Oh. Trash. I don't know how we see level 6. He's going for AP as well. So yeah, that's a total fail right there. Oh, I'm away. I'm away. We can catch him. Oh, he's gonna suicide. Yeah, he's gone. Okay. So yeah, this throws out the lantern. The lantern does give vision, and it, whoever gets close to the lantern gains a shield. And additional to this, if an ally clicks on it, they will be instantly teleported to you. So that's a great uh, utility spell for uh, tower diving or getting people out of sticky situations like over walls and stuff like that. The range is actually quite good, and overall, it's mostly for utility. Uh, and the shield scaling, uh, AP is, is is AP scaling is actually quite decent as well. So like point, point forty five or something like that. Not too bad. Okay, so I I will max this ability first. It is a uh, quite powerful shield. And from there, you got your E. Now your E. Uh, why the hell do I have an extra point there? Who knows? I, I made a mistake there. Um, the E is a displacement type skill. It does do uh, additional damage. Uh, it either allows you to push enemies away from you or push them towards you, and and that depends on when you where your cursor is at the moment of activation. However, oh oh oh, oh. <laughs> however you need to be uh, what you need to be careful because the range on this is not that high, that, that long. It's actually just a little bit further than a Maokai's Q, so. Keep that in mind. You really need to ch to combo this with your other abilities, such as your your Q. When people are close enough, then that's when you can use it. 
Uh, overall, it's, it's hard. It's hard to to land correctly. I found you need to practice this. The range is not. The range is kind of. Oh, careful, careful. You're fine. Yeah, you should. There you go. Go ahead. Okay, that's pretty much it. Now the, this does a uh, pretty decent damage, uh, better than the Q at least. And it also has pretty pretty low cooldowns, so not not that high as well. So we're getting zoned out here. I don't got my. I don't got an extra ward. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, from there, you got your ultimate. Now your ultimate is also uh, a different type of mechanic. Basically, what it does is it places that, places down in pentagon wherever you're standing. And whoever passes through the walls of the Pentagon gets damaged and slowed by quite a bit. It's 99% slow for two seconds, so it's basically a a root, but not not really. So get him, get him, get him, go in there. Get him. There we go. Double kill. Yeah, shield so peak. Oh oh oh! You flash, huh? I think you're so good. Get in there, get in there. Nah, he's gone. He has level 2 boots? Yeah, he has level 2 boots, no wonder. He's building more AP-ish than anything. Careful. Good job, that was great. Redemption. You can see there he used the lantern to come to me. So, the damage from this is quite significant. It's, it's not that much right now at level 1. But it does have a one-to-one -one ability point ratio, so those type of abilities uh, are always great because they have the potential to be so powerful. Uh, remember that every time you get a soul, this ability does uh, do more damage as well. And uh, if you place this, place down place down this on the correct position in a team fight, you will be it will be devastating to the enemies. Now, once a wall is is broken down. The, the damage and slow duration is uh, reduced by half, so it's only good for the upfront up burst from a wall. So you won't be able to hit everyone with this at the same time, or, or smart smart players will be able to... Smart players will be able to just uh, take one of them, take the damage, and then just uh, everyone else pass through there and not take as much. So, although it's powerful uh, for what it is, you need to be extremely careful. Oh, 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 There we go. Okay. Oh, you can see there on the minimap the new recall animation. You can see when people are going back. Like your allies or your your enemies as well. Uh -huh. And if you notice, they actually haven't done the icons for, for his ability. So you're using the <laughs> Amumu's Bandage Toss. I believe this is Jack's ultimate. And we got Riven's ultimate. And this is Diana's E, I believe. So yeah, there's, he's still in, in development on that side of things. He doesn't even have a splash screen at the moment of this recording. So yeah, that's a lot of changes they need they need to make. This has been a good uh, good game uh, overall. Oh oh oh. Shield OP. Oh, oh, that cloud, man. Too good. Let's see if we can make some plays here. Uh, Draven should be able to kill uh, Graves if we start fighting, like, head on. Got him. Go in there. Go, go, go. Get him, get him. No, 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 no. Kill the other guy. There we go, you got him. Nice job. Where are you going, my friend? You can see me using the displacement there for uh, pulling him back a little bit. It's not that much. It's not that much, but it's more than enough to to uh, kill people like that. And you can see there, that was a, a, a good use of the, of the ultimate that right there. They took a good amount of damage. I believe two walls of those got got popped. Man, we, we gotta go back. We gotta go back. We 
got her. What a bad idea, man. But that's fine. I'll take it. Go for the call six. There we go. Good job. Good job, team. Sorry. No assist for you. Okay, getting my souls. I got 33 so far. So that's not too shabby. Better than, than the armor per level, of course. Oh, here comes the... Damn, they're... They're pissed. I'm dead. I'm dead. Should have flashed right in that moment. <laughs> oh, that that was my bad. So I'm gonna get the um, the runic bulk uh, work here because you're actually you're actually quite tanky uh, because of the armor. So getting uh, items that give you HP and additional defensive stats are, is, is pretty good on him. Yeah, I've noticed that, but they're gonna fix those, don't worry. This is extremely early on his... On his development, I guess. For the PvE. No MP, that's fine, just go back. Almost there, I almost got my ulti as well. And I'm fairly tanky right now. Get in there, get in there. I I'm just as tanky as, as the enemy trash right now. Or more. I'm almost there, I'm almost there. I'm gonna go save you. No. Keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting. Fight it. I got this guy. Get him, get him, get him. Where are you going, my friend? Slow him. There you go. He's a little bit faster, but it's all good. We got him. Oh, oh, get him. Get this guy. Ah, so close. Yeah, like I said, the, the freaking... I'm going in there. I want to wanna shield you. God damn it. I couldn't shield you in time. Freaking fiddlesticks. Yeah, it's Katarina, man. That's what she does. Let me put down a ward on this area right here. And put one under the red. Maybe it's up. We can steal it. Wait, is it? Is it? It is. What are we doing here? Nah, you're fine. Let me go bot lane. So overall, he, he's fun. He has a lot of utility. Go. Oh, oh, nice job there. Oh, oh, oh. Get him, get him. He doesn't have flash anymore. Oh. So freaking close. Oh, you use your ultimate. I forgot. Damn it. Yeah, we're fine. Got a lot of war coverage. Man, he's fun. He's This guy is a fun champion uh, to play. A fun support. By himself, I don't see him being that effective. I tried to play him as an AP mid against uh, minions. I mean, the minions. Bots. And he does do a good amount of... Ooh, there you go. Good job. He does do a good amount of damage. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's slow. Look at that. Extremely powerful. Oh, fiddlesticks. Let's go. You got him? You got him. You got him. I'll be able to pull him over the wall here. Where are you going, my friend? Man, we can we can definitely dive this. Oh, oh. On my way. On my way. No, go to the shield. You don't you don't need help. You don't need help. Let's get this guy. I'm tired of him. Kick to the face! Yeah, I agree. Good job. Dive it, dive it. Go in there, go in there. What are you doing guys? Oh my god, we couldn't kill him. So strong. Yeah, that, sh that shield's pretty powerful. Oh, oh, nice job. Go in there. <laughs> go, 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 go. I got you back. I got you back. Shield for the win. Look at that. I love it. I love it. Get him. 
<laughs> Don't die. Kill the shirt. Oh, oh. The cost six. He's pissed. <gasps> run, 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 run. Yeah, that's a double kill for him. <laughs> that's cost six for you. He does that all the time. He just jumps in and destroys everyone. He does have a lot of AD. Run, Syndra. Okay, I really need to get level 2 boots here. And I need Mercury Treads because they have a fiddles. And he's just going to be freaking uh, fearing me and sending me all game. Are you good? You're good. Let's go to the mid. It is. This is a fun match. I will upload regardless if we win or lose. No, you didn't kill the big wolf. I'll help you with this, don't worry. There you go. Shield for the win. Yeah, that shield's good, like I said. Right now it's 220 plus 14. Not too shabby. Maybe if I had, I had a, a couple of more AP items, it would be much more effective. All yours. Let's go bot help out the Draven. The Invader Scythe 2. Almost there. There we go. This is gonna be good. Keep it up. Got him. Oh, no way. He barely got away from that. Keep it up. Keep it up. Katarina's here. We're fine, though. Yeah, she's dead. Oh. Oh, you jumped away, huh? I think you're so good, huh? Yeah. Oh, oh, go, go, go. Get him, get him, on him. Finally. Got my ulti, but not worth it to use it just on one. Oh, I got him. Sorry, sorry. My bad. Didn't want to kill him, but what can I do? I'm just a little trash. <laughs> I wasn't expecting all of them there, actually. Oh no! Yeah, a lot of displacement, a lot of, of CC and utility. I, I like him overall as a support champion. And he's fairly tanky. That's kind of the reason why they had to... <laughs> That's kind of the reason why they have to remove the magic resist uh, on souls as well. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. The magic resist made him so freaking tanky, nobody could kill him. No AP carry could kill him. Like 200 magic resist uh, when the game was in the late game. And just build a couple of HP items and you will be so strong. Or you could just, just go to the mid lane and you will gain so much magic resist as well that no, no AP carry could kill you directly. So overall it was a justified uh, justified nerf I, I believe. Maybe they could have le left it like uh, 0.3 magic resist per soul or something like that. Dragon? Did you guys just see the, uh, the, in the minimap? I think when he placed down his lantern I could see him and that maybe is a glitch. Who knows, still pretty buggy. Go in there, killer! You got her. Oh man. Don't hesitate. Let's go dragon. Dragon time. Dragon time. Let's go kill the graves. He's way out of position. I'm so tanky right now. He's got a lot of armor. I'm gonna... Oh. <laughs> You're dead now. You're slowed. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we both myth missed. Ah. Ah. <laughs> that was so freaking bad. That was so bad. Oh well. Yeah, he's so tanky. I know. Yep. That's why I like him. He becomes so tanky. Right now, I got 58 souls. At the 25 minute mark, not too shabby. Oh man. Fiddles right here. Get him, get the fiddles. That's a bad idea, my friend. And I got the kill again. Sorry, I'm just taking all the kills. Your auto attacks are too strong.
No, you're hurt. Katarina. Okay, good. And uh, the team's gonna get the. There you go. Get this guy. Get this guy. Don't even need to move out of the. Oh, there you go. Yeah, at this point, we're just gonna dominate over and over again. Yep. We just end this now if we wanted to. Good place overall. That fiddle's got got completely destroyed. I don't know. I, I see him being a uh, great support for champions such as uh, like Graves or or Draven as well because as you know. Oh no! There we go. Uh, Draven has the ability to take a kill easily from level one because he has so much additional AD to his uh, to his ability kit, and you bring so much damage and utility with just one point into your Q. So you put one point into your Q, you got additional damage, and you got a stun and a displacement type of skill so overall one point to your Q early on and someone like Draven will allow you to take uh, to do a lot of damage to the enemies similar to what um, maybe Tarek or Leona can do and in Graves for example so yeah I can see him being played as as a kill lane mentality uh, especially early on in the game like I said so it's gonna be fun to see what people come up with and I can also see him being played in the, at the mid lane, uh, but not that effective. He will just be there for the utility and strong shield, similar to what Janna does right now. When he had the uh, magic resist per soul uh, uh, passive, that's when he would actually be a great counter to mid lane and a lot of champions. Yeah, yeah let's go take the fiddle down. Okay, let's get the ball work here. And... Since I'm doing so well, let's build some some AP, shall we? Just because I'm doing well. You can see ultimate, yeah, one to one. Oh, we guys are in the ball already. Okay, guys, so hopefully you enjoyed this preview of the newest champion over the PVE. Um, he's not an instant buy for me just yet. I need to see play him a little bit more, but he does seem fun. And when you need to support, he he's gonna be uh, he's gonna be a, a interesting and fun champion to play overall. And I can see him being used in a lot of situations with a lot of crazy team comp combinations. So yeah, let me know what other champions you want to see next in my normal um, League of Legends point of views. And I might do another video of him at uh, the mid lane. Let me know if you want to see that. And please subscribe for all new League of Legends uh, content previews. Invader Sive signing out.